Hey, Weaves here with a bunch of information on new events that are coming to Wizards Unite really, really soon. So the first one you may have seen if you get in-game notifications. And if you don't, I'll show you how to turn those on in a minute. But basically, this morning, loads of people got a notification saying Task Force Emergency Imminent. A Task Force Emergency approaches on Saturday. Grab your wand. Grab your wand. And help the SOS Task Force contain a flare-up of foundables. For a limited time, inns will provide extra spell energy. And Care of Magical Creatures Traces will award additional family XP. And the Wizards Unite community team posted a few more details on the Harry Potter WU subreddit. So what they said is, You will see more Care of Magical Creatures traces on your map. When you return these foundables, you get double family XP. For all foundables that already have an image placed in the registry, you will get double family XP. You'll see an increase in spell energy when you visit an inn or a greenhouse. So this starts this Saturday, 29th June, and the timing depends on what region you're in. So if you're in Asia Pacific, then it starts at 1 p.m. AEST, which is UTC plus 10. If you're in Europe, the Middle East, Africa and India, it's 10 a.m. UTC, which is 11 a.m. British time. And if you're in the Americas and Greenland, it starts at 11 a.m. PDT, which is UTC minus 7. This is their first event, so they want a lot of feedback. And I can tell you right now that they have possibly picked the least interesting Foundables family that I could possibly care about. Because Care of Magical Creatures Traces is the one thing that we know how to find flags that will spawn loads of them. And that seems to be any area that's marked as a park and a recreation ground. I can see three flags from here. And most of the biggest parks in my area have loads of Care of Magical Creatures Traces. So, if all they do is boost baby hippogriffs and flubber worms, I am going to be extremely disappointed. Hopefully we'll get more of the rare ones. And I think some of us are probably going to go out to a park and use a bunch of dark detectors. Because what dark detectors do, we don't, I'm, I don't know exactly how they work. But as I understand it, the way dark detectors work is they take existing family spawns and they make them more rare. So you're more likely to get the stickers that you don't already have. But again, it's the first event, so we'll see how that works out. I said earlier I was going to show you how to turn on notifications if you didn't get the notification of this task force emergency. So you go into your suitcase, press the top left where you see the cogs, that takes you to the settings menu, and about three quarters of the way down on the screen there, you'll see events, offers, and updates. Turn that on and you should get the in-game notifications. The next upcoming event hasn't actually been formally announced, as far as I can tell, but you can see it if you go into your daily task. So press the button in the bottom right corner. That takes you to daily assignments. And then if you go into, into the special tab, you'll see it says coming soon, a brilliant event. And it says starts in. Right now, as I'm filming, it says five days and zero hours. So that will be starting Wednesday evening, presumably six o'clock. And again, that's British time. I don't know if it's going to be different depending on the different regions, but take a look in your own game and figure that out. Now the brilliant event is good because this is where you get the green books that you might have seen in your skills tree. So if we go into profession and then into lessons, under my top lesson, you can see I've got these gray things here that I've not been able to, to unlock. And that is because this is like a whole new, well, massive upgrade to my skill. I've been locked out of that, because while I may have seven scrolls, I don't have any of the green books. And the thing they're calling the Brilliant Event is a way to get green books. They already ran this in New Zealand and Australia for the beta. So I'm not sure if it's going to be the same, exactly the same event. Presumably we will be getting the books so we can unlock those skills. You may have also seen from the start that if you go into your registry, over on the right hand side, there's a thing called events. That shows you the sticker pages that you will be trying to hunt down for this event. The final event is unfortunately geographically locked in that it's a physical event happening on 31st August and 1st September and that will be in Indianapolis, Indiana in America. So the website says, ready your wands and mark your calendars. Join your fellow witches and wizards in Indianapolis, Indiana for the first Harry Potter Wizards Unite fan festival. Special hotel rates, blah, 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 blah. And that's all we know. 
So good luck anyone who goes there. Send photos, let us know what's happening. But again, it's like August, so that is a long time away. I'm sure we'll hear more about it as we get closer to the time. That is our Wizardy Night news for, I guess, the week, the day, who knows. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.